So now let's take a look at a legal problem called reverse linked list. So given the head note of the uh, singly linked list, the goal is we want to reverse the entire singly linked list and return the root note or the head note of a linked list. So here you see we have a linked list, right? Singly linked list, and we have one, two, three, four, five. After we re reverse the linked list, we get five, four, three, two, one like this. So the goal is we want to reverse the linked list and return the new head node or the new list node. In this case, it's going to be uh, no five. And here you can see we have another example where we have two nodes, and after re reversing it, one instead of one pointing to two, we have two pointing to one. And at the end, we're just returning the head node. Now, if there's no node at all, if the node is null, then we can just return null. So how can we solve this problem? And the goal is that we can, we're trying to do this in a constant time, uh, in a constant space complexity. So to solve this problem, here you can see we have a link list, right? And the goal is we want to use pointers, two pointers, to solve this problem. And we have a current pointer and a previous pointer. The goal to solve this problem is basically changing the way, changing the direction of each and every single node pointing to. So instead of node five pointing to uh, node four pointing to node five, we want node five pointing to node four. And instead of um, yeah, so instead of like node four pointing to node uh, node four po node three pointing to node four, we want node four pointing to node three. And we're just going to change the order of which. Uh, of the direction that each node is pointing to. So in this case, we're going to have a previous pointer as well as the current pointer. So the current pointer is going to first point to the first node, the head node, and the previous pointer first point to null. Then what we're going to do is we're going to get the current node point to the previous node. So basically node two point to null, and then we have the current node is going to be node four. And node four is going to be the current node, uh, current pointer, that the, uh, current, the, the node that the current pointer is pointing to and the previous pointer is now pointing to node 2. We're going to get node, current node, uh, current pointer point to the previous pointer. Right, so now we have um, now we have node 4 pointing to node 2 and then we move um, the pointers one to the right. Then we have node 6 pointing to node 4 and the current pointer and the previous pointer one, move one to the right. And then we repeat the process until we get a completely reverse order of the linked list. And because when we, um, because the previous, at the end, when we reverse the entire list, the previous pointer is actually pointing to the, to, to the head node, which is node 10. So at the end, we can just return the previous pointer, the node that the previous pointer is pointing to. So this is basically how we reverse this linked list in a constant time, in a constant space complexity. So let's see how we can do this in code. So to do this in code, uh, basically we're just going to first define our base case. So if the head node is null, we can just return null, right? And then what we're going to do is we're going to define our pointers. So we have a current pointer and the previous pointer. So basically we're going to get the previous pointer point to null first. Then we're going to have the current pointer point to the head node. Then as we traverse the link list, we're going to have we're going to have the previous pointer point to the head node and the current pointer point to null. So in this case, what we're going to do is that this we're going to start to iterate. So while the current node is not equal to uh, is not equal to null, we can continue to traverse. At the end, we're just going to uh, return the the previous pointer. So while the current node is not null, we continue continue to traverse the list. Okay, so let's try to write our code. And basically, we first check to see if head is equal to null. If it's null, we can return null. Then we're going to define our current and the previous pointer. So the current pointer is going to be uh, current. So let's know current is equal to head. So it's going to point to the head node. And the previous pointer is going to point to null. So we're going to say while the current node does not equal null, we're just going to traverse the list, right? But while, during the time when we traverse the list, what we have to do is we have to change the direction of each node where they're pointing to. So here you can see we have this node uh, pointing to null, but we have to save this node, right? So we're gonna save this node in the temp variable because we're changing 
the direction of where node 2 is pointing to because we're deleting this connection, right? We're deleting this connection. That means we have to save this node somewhere. So we're going to save it in a temp variable. Right, so then what we're going to do is we're going to get current node, right, point to the previous node. Once we get the current node point to the previous node, we're going to shift the previous and the current pointer one to the right by getting the previous pointer equal to the current pointer and the current pointer equal to the temp pointer. So previous pointer is equal to equal to current and the current is equal to temp. So then we're just going to continuously do that until we get current pointer is equal to null, right? Current is point to null. Then we're just going to return the previous pointer. Okay, so let's try to run our code. And let's try with a few more examples. So let's try to submit. And here you can see we have our success. So this is how we solve this reverse lane close problem in a linear time complexity, as well as constant space complexity.